Over the last couple of months, we've heard so, we've seen, you know, Loudoun County elsewhere, parents are upset with critical race right. theory. They're upset that the kids right. have got to wear right. masks and, and mandates and stuff like this. And now you've got the attorney general saying, hey, if anybody threatens somebody who works for a school, we need to have the FBI look into whether or not it's a credible threat. Yeah, the FBI. Now, look, no, no one should be threatened. Uh, no one should be attacked physically. Uh, violence is uh, obviously not appropriate. But this criticism of school board members is entirely appropriate. And given what's going on in the schools, uh, we should have uh, more of it. This is the Empire Strikes Back, Steve. Right. Or uh, years ago, when I was education secretary, I termed a phrase called the blob, which <laughs> is the education establishment. And so you might say this is the revenge of the blob. The blob is striking back. But to use the power of the FBI to suggest uh, that parents should shut up, which is really what they're saying mm -hmm. here, uh, and uh, let uh, the schools uh, do whatever they want to do, uh, you know, this notion that parents should not have the major say in the education of their children, right. um, this is what's at stake right now. Well, historically, you know, if there is a threat, uh, and I know the National School Board Association cited some guy in, I think, Illinois right. went to a school board meeting and, and right. punched right. out a, 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 one of the people on the board. Uh, but there was somebody who apparently uh, a letter was sent to a school board member in Ohio and they said, we are coming after you. We are forcing them to wear a mask for no reason in this world other than control. And for that, you will pay dearly. Now, that's something that historically local law enforcement would look into. But now you've got the full weight of the Department of Justice behind it. Yeah, local law enforcement can handle that. We don't need the power of the FBI. But if they're doing that, maybe they'll uh, go after these people who are following uh, Senator Sinema and others into bathrooms uh, and intimidating them. You know, they're saying this is terrorism, uh, you know, uh, uh, when, when parents speak up against school board members. Uh, no, this is overkill. Uh, and uh, this will not go down well, and it shouldn't go down well. Listen, we are in serious discussion here about American schooling. Uh, I talked to a parent the other night who said, I pulled all my kids out of public school because the teachers were saying, what gender do you want to be today? What gender do you want to be next week? What pronouns do you like? We're just not doing it. This is a full employment for homeschool and religious schools given the reaction of the public school establishment. The big issue and a place where I think we're gonna find agreement is I'm not certain that the Justice Department needed to get involved, even if this is widespread around the country, which it very well could be. Uh, I'm not so sure that we need to have an FBI investigation when these are local threats that are not coordinated uh, you know, by one entity or a bunch of entities. Well, exactly. And, and, and again, I, I, to, to, to reemphasize, if you're going to release a statement like this, the FBI should damn well better offer supporting evidence for it. They did none. So here's, so this, this move by Merrick Garland does two things. It attempts to demonize parents and to make them fearful that if they go and they dissent uh, in, in a colorful way or in any capacity, no, they threaten not it, if they dissent. That's no, but that's not what this is before. about. Yes, I, I, that's the, that's the yeah, language just don't that he people. tried you, to you use. You do what you want. Yes, that's exactly right. But what they're trying to do is they want to demonize anybody who wants to be a part of dissenting. What does it mean to feel threatened? I mean, broadly, like if you, if you come and you're like, hey, you're going to, the con you're going to suffer the consequences for the decisions you've taken against these children. And so a parent could mean electorally that you're going to suffer the consequences. We're going to vote you out. We're going to recall you. But what is, how much does it take for an overzealous school board member to take, take a statement like that and then to turn it around and call the FBI counterterrorism tip line? Have you heard to, like what some of these people have been saying? Like, yes, I have. You could pay the ultimate price. Like all of you deserve to be, you know, shot for treason. Like there are Who some really serious things that are being said at some of these school board meetings. Um, so I, I think that there are serious threats on the microphone, and I'm sure that there are probably threats off of it. So I think that those need to be investigated. But like I said, we agree. It, it probably shouldn't come from the FBI. It should come from local law enforcement. And what's dangerous about this is by making this kind of announcement, what he's telling us is that the FBI is now going to be exerting its spying capabilities on parents, on people who go to these and concerned citizens. That that's really that's where we want our federal resources focused on going after American citizens. And like, 
well, we're not sure really what they meant when they said this, and but we're going to keep an eye on them now. We're going to, you know, pull warrants to 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 check their emails. I mean, this is just completely outrageous, and and I think I think a total violation of civil liberties. And I agree with you. If somebody makes a yeah, real you threat, don't have a, you don't have some, a right to threaten someone. That's if, that's all I'm saying. If somebody makes a real threat of violence or somebody actually commits an act of violence, then yes, local law enforcement is the place for this. But the Fed's getting involved. This is another, we're, we're just cracking open another dangerous chapter in American history. And I think Merrick Garland, I think what he did this week was completely outrageous.